welcome back to Kevin Chances Farms and today it's just a little bit of a doing everything today so but I decided to make a little bit of chocolate syrup so I'm using this recipe that I think I found on um, Pinterest that I have saved I make a double batch so this batch a single batch calls for three cups of light brown sugar three-fourths cups of granulated sugar a cup of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, one cup of water, and then a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So I just doubled that. And then you stick all of the sugars, the cocoa powder, the salt, and then the water in a pan. And bring it to a boil on um, medium heat. And then once that comes to like a boil, then you will add your vanilla in. So let this come to a boil and then I'll add my vanilla. And then once it's completely done and you take off the heat, then you just let it set and you will put, I put it in a, a ball glass jar with the reusable plastic lids to store in the refrigerator. You want to keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan because then it'll make it taste like it's burnt chocolate. This recipe um, tells you just to stir in a spoonful or two of the chocolate syrup into a glass of milk. Um, two of those spoonfuls does not work for the big glass of milk that we use, so I don't. You just put in whatever you want to. Um, prefer as far as how chocolate your milk you want to go okay so it's came to a uh, rolling boil so then you want to reduce the heat I'm going to take it down off the burner for a minute but you'll reduce the heat and let it simmer it says five minutes and then after that's done for five minutes then you will um, remove the pan from the heat and then add your vanilla to it and then I usually just let it sit on a burner on the stove that hasn't had any heat to it and let it cool till it almost reaches um, room temperature and then I'll transfer it from the pan over to the ball jars and if I remember from past when I made a double batch usually it will take a quart jar and then one pint but I don't think it fills it up all the way to the top of the pint jar so that's about the equivalent to what you get. I'll, when I get to that step, I'll show you how much I end up uh, getting from this double batch. So we'll, I'll go over and set the timer and for five minutes, and then we'll take it off the heat. All right, now that it's done with the five minutes, I've removed it from the burner that was it was on to the back burner and now the recipe calls for you to use a tablespoon of vanilla I have made my own vanilla out of vanilla beans and 
some type of alcohol, I use um, vodka. So, and then you you put the vanilla beans in the vodka and let it like basically cure over a certain amount of time. And then when that time is up, then you take the vanilla beans out and you would be able to use it after that. It, I find that it has more of a flavor, flavorful um, vanilla taste compared to like your store bought. So, so then once that's all stirred in, then basically you will just allow it to um, sit there and cool to room temperature and then place in the jars. Taylor come out here to do the nighttime feeding and she found six eggs including this one here. It's ginormous. And that one is pretty good size. I, I found one here, one here. We're gonna find that one to be a double yoker. We'll see. This may be penguins. Well, no. It's not gonna be penguins because it's got someone's feather on it. I don't know. So. Can I see? It could be one of the buffs. That looks about like a buff. That's a double yolk. That looks like a buff's feather, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Uh-huh. I is. bet it's that one. Yep. So, we've got more of them laying now. Hopefully they continue. That'd be nice. Wait, two of them are brown. No. I'm pretty sure. No. Um, yep. There's two this color All then. Right. Those three are... a pretty are... good haul for today.
Tony's bringing in another bale. As you can see, we like to stick our bales on some pallets. That way, the moisture that's underneath doesn't get up in the hay and kind of ruin it. So, we uh, put them up on skids. everybody enjoy the videos don't forget to like subscribe share on social media with all your family and friends uh, if you missed our live uh, celebration the other day check that out it's loaded up now uh, we've passed 100 subscribers so the next thing we're looking for now is to make that 500 mark and then from there we want to go for a thousand so Make sure all your friends are subscribed to our channel for us. Uh, we can't do it without subscribers, so we appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.